Fasting is one of the best deeds a slave can perform because it purifies the heart and leads to piety. As Allah says, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Perhaps that you attain piety. And there are many virtues for fasting, one of which is that it entitles the person to be admitted into Jannah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Anyone who dies on a day whilst he is fasting will be admitted into Jannah. And Abu Umama, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I asked the Prophet ﷺ to command me with something that will entitle me to be admitted into Jannah. He said, Adhere to fasting, for there is nothing equivalent to it, meaning in reward. Fasting will intercede on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet ﷺ said, Fasting and the Qur'an will intercede for the slave on the Day of Judgment. Fasting will say, O oh my Lord, I prevented him from food and fulfilling his desires during the day, so allow me to intercede. The Qur'an will say, I prevented him from sleeping at night, so allow me to intercede for him, and they will both be allowed to intercede. Fasting is a protection against the fire of hell. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever fasts a day for the sake of Allah, Allah will take him far from the fire of hell a distance of 70 years. Finally, Allah Azzawajal did not assign a specific reward for it. The Prophet ﷺ said, All the deeds of the son of Adam will be multiplied tenfold, up to 700 multiples. Then Allah says, Accept fasting, it is for me, and I shall be the one rewarding him for it. He gave up his desire and food for my sake. These scholars said, not specifying a reward reflects that it is going to be generous.